Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today's video is a little bit different to normal what I'm going to do is a product review something I've never really done before something that I said I wouldn't really associate my channel with however I was contacted uh, to see if I would be prepared to do a video review of the new Top Don TC View thermal image camera so without further ado let's get the box opened up let's get it installed onto my phone and let's give it a try. Okay, so looking at the back of the box at some of its specs, it's got a 256 by 192 high res infrared camera, uh, does real time temperature waveform, it's compatible with Windows and Android. Uh, this, is a, this particular version is Android. I do believe that they do the iPhone version as well. Um, temperature abnormality alarm. It's got a testable temperature range of minus 20 to 550 degrees celsius it also shows you there in fahrenheit for those people that work in fahrenheit and it's got customizable image optimization so and there's the barcode for it so let's get it So straight away we can see it comes in its own little um, hard case, it's quite useful. A set of instructions with a barcode there, maybe for the manual, maybe for the app. We'll read the instructions in a second and get the app loaded onto the phone. So let's open it up. And there is the um, camera itself, the USB-C type connector, little cloth there to clean the lens I would imagine, and the USB-C to a USB normal conversion lead. Let's get the instructions open and let's see what we need to do. This is the barcode for the user manual. There we go. So we're going to open the instructions up. So that's taken us straight to the site. It's a TC001. The dark has no secrets, it says. So there's our instruction manual okay right so according to the instructions what we do we go to uh, the play store on android and we type in um, tc001 we'll search for that that's fetched it up so we'll install it So it's currently downloading the app now. Okay, so that's the app installed. Okay, so we've got the app loaded on the phone. I've not opened the app up at all yet. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the thermal image camera. Uh, and plug it into the bottom of the phone. Obviously, that's the lens, so that wants to be pointing away from the phone. Um, but I've had to take the phone out of its case uh, because the USB connector on the camera doesn't push home fully enough, uh, but that's not much of an issue. So we plug it into the bottom of the phone in the USB port. It's a nice firm connection, and we'll just open the phone up. So the first thing it asks us to do is open TC001 to handle the USB camera. So we'll connect that and press OK. And that's taken us straight to the app. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to go and have a little bit of a play with it, um, put it through some usage, and I'll come back and I'll show you what I can find. Okay, so I'm just pottering around the house at the moment, and looking at this, 
image camera now I've got my central heating it's only just turned on a few minutes straight away we can have a look at um, little uses around the house maybe good for plumbers in balancing radiators so we've got the lock shield and the pipes there showing around about 30 degrees centigrade the radiator itself um, about 34 degrees and if we go to the other lock shield and pipe work again around about 30 degrees so that's one use around the home um, I can also here we've got another use where I've put the heated steering wheel on on my car and as you can see there we've got a temperature of 27 degrees only two elements on this particular steering wheel it's a Mazda my old car with a Ford it had a steering wheel that was heated all the way around and as you can see there that's my hand or my finger in the bottom of the screen also leaving a heat trace on the steering wheel likewise if I put my hand on the seat it leaves a imprint there what I've also done I put the heated seat on on the passenger side and there we can see the two heating pads working okay quite a good little test there to check to, to make sure that the heated seat pads are all working okay and what I'll do next I'll put the heated rear screen on and we'll go see if we can see that nice and clearly there we can see the heated elements of the heated screen working okay so nothing to worry about there no problems there at all everything working good what I've done now I've lifted the engine bonnet on my car got the engine running obviously things look as though they're glowing molten hot but also they're not got an alternator temperature there of around 30 degrees obviously the engine covers on um, I've taken the fuse box lid off and you can see all the relays working and glowing with their heat signatures so anyone in the automotive anybody in the automotive world will know that uh, a thermal imaging camera is a pretty good tool for checking for parasitic drains to see if there's any relays or fuses that have been active also you can see if there's any resistance in battery terminals bad connections causing resistance resistance will cause heat so like I'll just touch the battery terminal there and it should leave a little heat signature from my hand there we go again no problems with the resistance or anything like that on these cables luckily there's no problems with this car okay so we can go into the temperature monitoring side of the app let's see what this does so what I'm looking at at the moment is my little GoPro and I can generate an image um, so it's given us some three options here of monitoring type I'll go for the dot press OK select an area to monitor so let's go for the actual screen itself so that's showing about 27.6 degrees and what I can do I can start recording it and what it will do then it will start recording it by the second um, and monitor its temperature I'm sure somewhere in real world applications this could be quite um, useful obviously for the demonstration purposes that's all I'm going to show it is just showing the temperature itself uh, hovering around about 27 degrees so that's that side of the app so let's just uh, go backwards close that off and we've got the gallery which I don't think I've taken any shots yet which I haven't uh, personal information I'll not go into um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this tool and I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces in, in a real world. So as we've just seen there guys, um, showing it through its paces on the thermal imaging side of it. I'm well impressed with it. It's um, showing some good images there compared to what I've been used to with the Generation 1 Snap-on thermal image camera. I think it's the EETH300, which in all fairness for the £900 it cost back in the day is absolutely shocking compared to this which I'm not actually sure what the price of it is I'll go check and I'll put it on the screen 
when I edit this video. Along with the um, supplier who sent me it, I'll give you the link to their Amazon store. But what I'll also do...